Just look at that beautiful early morning sun rising up over Mayoto Iwa. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we got the last stray beads of the commoners and aristocratic quarters of Seon City. This episode, well, we're not going to be going to just one location, but many. We're going to be wrapping things up in the Ryushima district, I guess, in, in northern Nippon. And then we're going to be going into the middle Nippon area, getting the last stray beads there, working our way slowly to Shinshu Field, where... Something new lies, which we've seen with the storm. We saw that last episode. So yeah, um, what I'd like to do, first off, is something that I promised to do, uh, like right when we got into Ryushima Coast. And that is, go around these rocks collecting treasures. Now, you can see I am standing. Uh, was that just a really well-timed jump onto land? No. I'm walking on water. Uh, this is the first time, I believe, that I've been able to show off the water tablet. And it's, it's really stinking sweet. Like, look at this. You can run on water. How cool is that? You know, there, there are very few games that allow you to do that. <clears throat> yeah, there are actually a lot. Like Mario Sunshine, and probably a Kirby game. Yeah, Kirby, and this game, and Mario 64 DS, and all that other stuff. You can actually ro walk on water a lot in video games, but that's beside the point. It's really cool that you can do this, and it eliminates the need to swim ever. So you guys should use it. So, uh, while I'm speeding up here, I'm not even sure if I will be speeding up, but let's just, I'm just going to act like I am. I would like to talk about what I, what I called that rock formation with the two ropes bridging it. I called it Meoto Ewa, and that is because it's actually replicating an actual landmark in, uh, Futami, uh, Mia? Mia? I believe Mia. Uh, in Japan. And that, uh, Meoto Ewa translates to the married couple rocks. So, yeah, these are very... Well, not ancient rocks, because all, all rocks are ancient, but it's a very well-known landmark in Japan, and yeah, that rope is actually in Japan. These are these are about the same size as the ones in Japan. Um, they are they are roughly the same size. The there's ugh, I can't talk. Uh, the smaller there is a smaller one that's supposed to be like the female of the couple, um, but yeah, the rope is made out of rice straw and is replaced a couple times a year, and the rope weighs uh, multiple tons. So yeah, that's it's pretty insane how big the rope is. And I'll probably put a, a picture on screen right now of what it actually looks like in real life, and you can note the similarity. Uh, I should also note that this is a little bit of speculation on my part. I do not know if this is a, a cut-and-dry reference, but in the Legend of Zelda games, uh, there's, a recurring, there's a recurring landmark called the Mother and Child Isles or the mother, mother and child rock, um, child rock. And yeah, I believe that to be a reference to the married couple rock, albeit it is mother and child, not married couple, but they are very similar in appearance. Even further, I believe in Wind Waker, there is an island called Outset Island. Um, it is the first, it is the first place you start out in the game, in case you haven't played it. Um, it looks almost identical to uh, Meoto Iwa. It is. It has two gigantic aisles that are that are bridged by a rope, and in Outset Isle Island, it is a rope bridge that crosses the two. And from a distance, it looks a lot like Meoto Iwa, which is really interesting. I d I'm not sure if that's a reference once again, but I felt like I should note it since I am a big Zelda fan. I've played it for a lot of my life, not all of it, but it was. It was one of the. It was actually one of the first video games I ever played, I, I started out, I know this is strange because I'm a little bit young to have started out with this game, I started out with Zelda 1. That was my very first Zelda game, um, and for, it was for the Game Boy, it wasn't for the NES. And yeah, so Zelda's been a thing in my life for a while. Okay, uh, we're probably done getting all of these, all of the things by now, so I'll go ahead and cut to where we are. And actually, I just realized I was talking for long enough that I didn't really have to speed that up, so I guess I didn't speed it speed it up, which is fine. I, I did talk about something worthwhile, so it's not like you guys you guys were completely bored out of your wits. I don't know, maybe you were. So yeah, I'm getting the last one of these here, the last pearl, and or not pearl, sorry, the last clam, which contains coral. Interesting. So yeah, there there it is. Those are all the clams to be gotten 
Here. Very nice. There's one more thing I'd like to grab, though. I think we can grab that on... Actually, no, I should not do that. I should grab it now. Uh, it's really sad. I can't really change the camera much here. I just kind of have to keep adjusting it, which is kind of annoying. Okay, so let's run over here. Now, did I check these rocks? I, I feel like these are, like, the first rocks I checked. But I don't remember. Yeah, okay, I, I've checked these. Okay, so where I'm going... Oh, there's one I haven't checked. Okay, so this that was worthwhile. And there it is. It's a pearl. Yeah, it's a pearl. I should I should try to identify these just by the look. That would be really interesting. Because many times from a distance, the treasures all look the same. But if you look closely, they're actually not. They are all different. Okay, is there a pearl here that I have not collected? No. Okay, I've got them all. Okay, now the camera changes to a really weird angle. So where I'd like to go next is right at the very beginning of Ryushima Coast. Uh, this is the last collectible I'd like to get here, sort of. It, it's, it kind of depends on how you look at, look at things. Uh, I want to power spring up here. Power spring up here. And then I want to grab something that's been staring us in the face the entire time, from the very beginning. And it's becoming nighttime. I don't want that. Right over there, that tower. I've never gone over there because, frankly, until now, I never had catwalk and was in the area. So I'm going to grab this. I could have grabbed this clover from the get-go, but I just didn't feel like it. Because it's sort of like dancing around a secret, you know, that, you know, it's like, hey, there's a, se there's a secret here, and I'm not going to deal with it now. That was not good. Do it. There we go. Okay, so let's use catwalk up here. It would have been kind of neat if you could use catwalk anywhere on any wall, but I can see why they didn't do that. It would be really... You'd, they have to design entire areas around it. Okay, so we have Kutani Pottery. I wanted to grab that because the last thing we're going to be doing in Northern Ryoshima Coast is going to a shop, and I wanted to make sure that I had all the money available to me. And Kutani Pottery is actually a lot of money. That's, that's a good 12,000 yen. So you do not want to pass that up. Okay, so I will meet you over by Seon City because I have to take care of a couple things, selling things, restocking, and I will meet you after I'm done with that. Be right back. Okay, guys, here I am. I sold off all of my treasures, and that gives me a grand total of 821,000 yen, 186. Uh, so that is how much mo money I have. I went ahead and bought a couple healing items. I actually sold off all of my, my mermaid coins because we now have a technique that allows us to use mermaid springs without mermaid coins um, and now I would like to do the shop you know why because I, w I could normally just cut this out but he's actually carrying something new now that nine tails is gone what is he carrying let's sh let me show you trendy mirror reflector marked with knowledge faith and power tramples evil so we have a new weapon i just wanted to show this because it's 100 and 150 thousand yen and i wanted you guys to see me buying it boom okay now other things i would like to do uh this is going to be a bit of a shock ish i'm going to be buying a lot of stuff mainly because this is the last time we're going to be in uh, Ryushima, possibly, very, very possibly. So I would like to buy a bunch of stuff, especially since there are battles coming up. Uh, I would like to buy 19 Vengeance Slips. I know, 19, that's 190,000 yen. But I would like to carry, I would like to carry through with this. Um, so we have 20 Vengeance Slips. And then I think we're good for, uh, I think we're good for healing items, honestly. Uh, then I would like to buy 20 Steel Fist Sakes. Actually, let's make that 25. Uh, that's 50,000 yen. I'm good for Steel Soul Sakes. I don't feel like I'd need them. And you know what? Just in the spirit of us getting 25 Steel Fist Sakes, let's get five more Vengeance Slips. So yeah, I went from having 800,000 yen to having 300. Yeah! Um, I, you guys can tell I really want to be prepared, and... I'm going to go and buy nine of these, just because they can stun enemies and and make them drop their guard. So I will get some of these. I'll get three of these. Why not? Uh, good. Okay. I am satisfied. We have a lot of stuff. Uh, also, off screen, actually, before this episode started, I went to Shinshu Field and I gr I did some grinding on enemies to get a bunch of Demon Fangs. How many do I have now? Two. <laughs> I, I purchased something at the Emperor uh, off screen. I bought the Thieves Glove for 70 fangs. I also bought I also bought um, 
a uh, two godly charms, but that's besides the point. So we can go ahead and equip the Trinity Mirror while we're here, and equip this as a sub. I actually like the Blade of Kusanagi as a grounded sub weapon. If you guys remember um, the Devil Gate Trial Cave, I was actually using that on the Blue and Red Ogres uh, as a grounded, a grounded glaive sub weapon uh, because it was just doing a lot of damage. So I will be using that. Uh, also, um, we could equip the Thieves Glove over the Peace Bell. But honestly, I find the Peace Bell much more convenient for just traveling from point A to point B. So we'll keep the Peace Bell. But I should mention, the Thieves Glove basically allows us to use the technique that was open to us in, um, in the Imperial Palace that enabled us to steal items from enemies and open chests. I don't think we can open chests with it anymore because there are no locked chests in existence, but it's something that you can use in battle to deal damage. And I don't think it uses that much ink. I think it uses like one, one uh, pot of ink, which is nice. Okay, um, that's it. We have a, we have 300 preys, but I should I should note that I can't actually upgrade anything right now. But when I when I can, it will definitely definitely be health. But I'm, I fall short of it just by a tiny bit. Okay, that being all out of the way, uh, I believe we can leave. Here's the Trinity Mirror. We cannot upgrade it with gold dust because <laughs> we don't have gold dust. Uh, this is like the first time in the game that we haven't been able to upgrade something as soon as we get it, which is interesting. Okay. So now that we have this tier 4 glaive, we can leave, and now we're a lot po more powerful. Let's go. Alright, everything, everything in Ryushima Coast, to my knowledge, is complete. Maybe there's one or two chests that I missed that contain some treasure, but all in all, I believe that I have 100%ed this area. I have every stray bead from this way north, and I have done every side quest available. Uh, again, I may be missing one, but if I am, post it in the comments, or I might look into it. I don't know. I'm pretty sure there are none. But I, I will return here if there is one that's of any merit. Okay, so that is done. Where are we going next? Actually, the most logical location, by passing through this warp, this loading screen. We're going back to the city checkpoint, because there is one last thing for us to do there. Okay, here we are. And uh, off screen, I equipped the water tablet because that has everything to do with what I would like to do. I'm going to go. Wow, this is this is a lot more beautiful than I remember. That's actually this is really gorgeous, huh? That's pretty. Okay, so where I'd like to go is where we could never go before. We're going to be going upstream. We're not able to do that with our normal technique of of what you call it um of lily pad. We were not able to do that just because. I'm actually doing this. This is cool. Actually, could you have done this? No, you couldn't have. Okay. I, I thought maybe you could make it th that far, but no, there's there's stuff blocking away. Maybe maybe speedrunners can. I don't know if anyone speedruns this game. It might be a little bit interesting, but yeah. Uh, if we go upstream using the water tablet, we will have this island with a canoe on it that isn't even moored. Um... If there is a clover and a tree, I'll actually bloom them both at once. The tree, uh, from memory, gives me 12 praise, and the clover gives me 5. I don't know why it gives me so so little, but it does. And we are... Actually, wow! Okay, we can upgrade one of our abilities, but I would like to do this first. On this island, buried right here in plain sight, it's a chest containing a stray bead. So, there we go. There's the last stray bead of the city checkpoint. Moving on up, da, ba, ba, moving on up, and I'm gonna upgrade my health. Oh wait, oh it costs, oh it costs 330. Oh my bad. We can't. We're eight praise short. Like one clover, one decent clover would would give us that uh, praise, the praise required to do that. But alas, we cannot. Okay, there is uh, the next area we're going to be going to is, believe it or not, the Gale Shrine. Yeah. There is a stray bead that is now open to us now that we've defeated Ninetales. I know it's a really weird place to go, the Gale Shrine, a former dungeon, but it is actually open to us now. So I will meet you guys over there because it would take me a long time to travel there on foot with you watching. So with the magical powers of editing, we are now in the Gale Shrine. Do you remember me telling you that one time, a long time ago, that there was, you know, these black borders around everything? Um, that one of them was really, really weird, really strangely made? Well, this is the one. I, I promised I'd show you next time I was Kusa, in Kusa Village, and I actually 
failed on that promise, but now that I'm here and now that I'm remembering, this is it. It's like distance halfway to the path, and it's just, it's really sloppy, honestly. Sometimes those black borders can really get in the way, and just kind of awkward. I don't know. I don't really know of any other way they could have done it, but that, personally, is just like, what? Why Why you do? So, okay, anyway, uh, now that we are in at the Gale Shrine, we're not in the Gale Shrine, so I sort of didn't fulfill my word, uh, we can, I can show you the stray bead. You guys remember this room? I kind of doubt it, because it's been a long time. It is the first open room that you reach, and it has the big pool in it. it it's very linear, so you cannot miss it. Uh, there's a room down here where we got the key before. If we go down that, I believe this is the room. I believe it is the room. Is it the room? Is it the room? I'm pretty sure this is the room. If not, oh yes, this is indeed the room. All the way down here, I know this is a really, really random secret. We will find uh, Fusei and the Canine Warriors. Well, not all of them, just five, located in here. I know this is really weird. I have no idea how you'd find this on your own without a guide. Well, you could find it on your own without a guide, but it's something that you wouldn't really think to look for. Hey, Princess Fusei, how's it going? Are those five five canine warriors falling in line? They look awfully bored. You sure they're even awake? Why, it's the White Wolf and, the, and Little Bug. How nice of you to return to the Gale Shrine. I have been waiting for you. You have? I have trained the remaining canine warriors, introducing the new Saitomi canine uh, warriors, the Kusa Five. Rain or shine, they shall battle monsters and and all their evil. Here in Taka Pass, none can match their power. Please test the power of the Kusa Five for yourselves. Huh? Pretty please? It would it would be an honor to have the bane of Crimson Helm and Orochi battle against the Kusa Five. <laughs> well, if you put it that way. But first, there's something I must mention. The Kusa Five is a tough, battle-hardened group. They won't look they won't hold back once the match begins. Once their honor is on the line in fierce battle, I would not be surprised if one of you fell in battle. The Kusa Five is at least ten times more powerful than Orochi. This will be a life or death struggle. You must prepare to face a battle unlike any you've seen before. Will you accept this challenge? That's a dumb question. You really think the stubborn wolf would back down? Right, Ami? We gonna do this deathmatch or what? Fight the Kusa Five? Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm scared, even though I kind of want to stop and prepare. Uh, bring it. This is a secret boss fight of the game. Picture the Canine Warriors times... Well, they were weaker than Orochi before, so picture them times 20. Yeah. These guys are really hard now. Excellent! Oh, faithful Canine Warriors, member of the Kusa Five, prepare to face the invincible White Wolf and Little Bug. Let's make it a fair and clean fight. So, here we are, the Kusa Five. I know this is really unexpected, but this is the battle that you guys have been waiting for. Okay, uh, so right off, I would like to enlist the strategy of the Devil Gate Trial Cave. Well, first, I would like to de-equip the Water Tablet, because that's weird why I have that equipped, and equip the Thieves' Glove so I can show it off. Next, I want to go to my items and use a Vengeance Slip, and also a Steel Fist Sake. With our new weapon, it is more powerful than any weapon we've had before, so we should be able to do a ton of damage, even though they have attacks that make them invincible. So, yeah, that's that's a problem. Uh, let's go ahead and use, uh, let's go ahead and make use of Thieves' Glove, just to see what it does. Can I actually attack anyone here? Really? One. Okay, this guy I can. Now, something I've been meaning to bring up, um, as to the power of weapons, I, you you see that this weapon is not powered up by gold dust, but it is actually more powerful than our previous weapon, even though that one is powered up by gold dust. Uh, I just want to make sure that's clear so it doesn't look like I'm downgrading weapons. Uh, so yeah, okay. Um, now with with you being invincible, there's really no reason to employ a strategy. I know that sounds really weird, and I'm actually going to use uh, steel fist, but not vengeance slip. Because it, it, you know, you can just you can just wail all day. But if you keep if you keep time slowed down, you should be fine. Just be ready to use Fleetfoot, and um, if if a, if one of the Canine Warriors is stunned, uh, it use it use your discretion to determine whether or not you should actually attack it or a different dog. Um, sometimes you might want to focus a different dog while one is stunned. You you never know. It just depends on your items most of the time, because if you're invincible, you definitely want to attack the one that is weak, 
because you don't have to worry about the other one's attacks. But um, you know, it's it's up to your it's up to your style. Okay, and also you need to be you need to be on your feet with Fleetfoot, huh? Because you know it's it's invincibility. You should use it. It may not be the best technique in the world because it uses the motion controls of the nunchuck, which are very they're questionable at at best. But it is good. Okay, let's use our subglaive here because it it is good. Uh, short hop subglaive actually won't be the best the best thing to use. Why'd I do that? I didn't mean to do that. Well, at least I have a shield here. Okay, you guys don't hit me. Let me let my ink come back. Let my ink come back. Okay, good. Um, what was I saying? I, I forgot what what I was saying, but it probably it probably oh yeah, subglaive. Um yeah, sh short hop subglaive is not the best technique because they're so low to the ground that, you know, if you do that, then you're not really going to be gaining anything, and there's a very good chance that they will actually just uh, you'll actually plant yourself in the ground, leaving yourself open to attacks, which is not a good thing. Okay, one of these guys is weak. I'm not sure which one it is. It's that one, and he's gone. Can I hit him? No. Okay, let's focus on that one. No. This one, there. It is good to hit multiple ones at once. I spe um, oh. If, you're, if you are using a, um, a rosary, it is not good to focus on a group because it does many little hits, but they're single attacks. Each hit is one attack, um, but with this, one attack can hit multiple enemies, whereas, you know, the Rosary, it can't. So it's better to have something like this or the Glaive if you're facing a group of enemies. Um, if, you, if, you're more, if you're more into defense and not just damage output, then I would suggest using the rosaries because it is the easiest weapon to obtain godhood with um but if you're if you're focusing on offense use a different weapon honestly it would be better okay let's kill this guy so far it's pretty easy but this is just the first part of the battle don't expect it to be a cakewalk one we have not taken damage yet which is very good um can you die let's use a grounded glaive so you guys can see how good it is it just it holds them in place it's just it's really nice. It's a lunging attack that does a ton of damage. It's not like um, seven strike su sub capabilities where it just kind of it flips them once. I'm not sure if it if it induces like a special state of knock up. It's entirely possible, but it I don't know. I just don't like it as a sub. And you are one, two, three gone. Is that it? Really? No way. No way. No way, it's not, it's not a, wait, it's over. Wow, okay, it's over. Um, oh, never mind, okay, okay, yeah. That I was not, I kind of expect, I didn't really expect it to do something like that, but I, I was kind of questioning why it was so easy. Uh, let's go ahead and, I'm really good for invinci, I'm not really needing invincibility, but I could use a steel fist socket, mostly because this weapon is not powered up. So, interesting thing, you can see that there are that there are dogs here, canines, that are not part of the Kusa 5. They are part of the 8 Saitomi Canine Warriors, which is very interesting. There are dogs that were summoned in, um, which, oh, you used, you used that technique. Um, yeah, there are dogs that su were summoned in. Uh, they're doing, if I lose one more thing of Godhood, I'm in trouble. Let's do that. I, I do I do suggest that you slow time down always, uh, mostly because you have the ink to do it by this point, um, unless you invested stuff into everything else, which is dumb. Um, and also, you know, it gives you a lot more reaction time. Even if your reaction time is the best in the world, uh, you can be stuck in ending lag for a move and be punished for it, despite your reaction time. Okay, uh, I'll just power slash him and run. There. Power Slash didn't do that much damage, but that's fine. Okay, um... Oh, no, 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 no! There, okay. You're not going to be using your digging attack on me. So yeah, they're using attacks that they used when we f first fought them. Um, I'll be, there are a lot, there are a lot more... I keep wanting to call them wolves for some reason. Uh, so it can get, it can get a little bit hard since there's... Oh, no, no, no! Let's go ahead and use... I don't want to use my godly charm. I want to use an ink uh, vengeance slip. Because that, that is honestly better. Allow me to pick up godhood instead of just getting godhood and losing it. So, yeah, this will work. Uh, he's about to dig a hole. Get out of the 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 hole. I don't want to waste that much time. Oh, he 
He used a Golden Fury on me. Okay. I see how it is. Uh, also, you, you do want to also slow down time just because they're jumping everywhere. Really, they are everywhere in this battle. And if you're if you're not able to stick to stay on them and stick, you're not going to be doing much damage, and the damage you're doing is going to be mostly in trades, like this. He's slow enough that I was actually able to catch him and finish him off. Uh, my vengeance slip has run out, so I'll focus on you. Okay, there are only two left, but I do not believe this is the last battle. This is the second. No, this is not the second to last either. Uh, slow down time. Now, if you are getting getting low on Godhood, uh, you might want to no 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 no. You might want to um, there. You might want to equip what, what was I saying? You might want to equip a Rosary, but I'm not going to. Oh wow, Incense Burner. Okay, so yeah, there's there's an, a prime example of Isun's of Isun's Thieves Glove. I just got a treasure from Isun. That is cool. It allow it it opens up a whole new area of of whole new potential to grinding. You're now able to grind for more, even more money than before. Okay, you're going to do another attack, but I will risk it. Finish him off. Whoop. No, you're not going to do that attack either. There you go. Rush. And attack. Maybe you could be vulnerable? Yes, you can be vulnerable. And one, two, three, jump. Okay. I really like the reflector. I, I kind of... I kind of got on this kick a, a little bit earlier in the game, where I was focusing on um, on rosaries, but it, it wasn't like too long ago. It was like within the last couple episodes. I was just going rosary, 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 and I don't like that because the rosary, honestly, no offense to people who use rosaries. Uh, why would I worry about offending them? But the rosary has like the least skill in, involved of any weapon. You don't have to time your attacks. All you have to do is shake the Wiimote and it builds up godhood like crazy and uh, I just I like it I like the weapon do not get me wrong I do like I do like the rosaries but I like them for the wrong reasons I would rather use a reflector which I mean it's still easy it probably has the second the second skill curve that's bad that was bad I should have used my my glaive yeah it has it has like the second second place in skill curve and the glaive is probably the hardest weapon to use but I still like it. It's not. It's not the worst. The worst type. Okay. So I didn't do too well there, but I'm getting. I am getting money. I'm getting money. Okay. Um. Do I want to use Vengeance Slip? No. But I do want to use Steel Fist Sake. And is this just one one guy? It looks like just one guy. It is. But he's. He was like the hard. The hardest. The hardest canine warrior. So I'm not expecting this to be an easy fight, but. It won't be as chaotic as the ones before. I can focus him more. Um, yeah, he's he's much faster. Oh no 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 no! One, two, three, four. Uh, okay, when he's stunned in this battle, since there's only one one dog, uh, you do not want to. Whoa! No 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 no! Jump jump! Did I get hurt? No, I didn't. Okay, yeah, you do not you do not want to uh, just use power slash on him. You want to uh, just hit him because it'll give you Godhood. And does he not get stunned? Yes, he does. Okay, one, two, three. There's low-level Godhood. That's what I wanted. Now, I guess I could take this opportunity to show new technique in battle. In fact, boom, boom, boom. There, I was curious. Did that even hit him? I'm not sure. Come on. Yeah, the problem with the K9 Warriors is that they they are invincible half the time. Which is really annoying, but if they are invincible, you you can use a um, an exorcism slip to you. Yeah, you can use an exorcism slip like so to break through his defenses, and that's why that's why I got the all those exorcism slips. There, you can die. Yeah, he's so fast. It's just it's so insane how fast he is. <sighs> You're way like you know you are annoying what what was that attack okay this is going awry very quickly um i want to use this definitely but can i use not that i don't want to use all my battle weapons right when i get them i'll use that since i have 20 okay this way we can stick on him and i should slow down time not whenever i can 
but whenever he jumps, because that that is the key to victory. Now, I was able to tank his air his aerial move because you know I have vengeance slip, so that's good. Especially because I c I really do consider the aerial reflector technique uh, to be the the best aerial reflect aerial whoa move in the game. So yeah, it's it's very good. It's good close quarters. It's good in every circumstance. Seriously, dude, you take a chill pill. Take like ten. Take ten of them. Stop being invincible. Huh. <sighs> yeah, this guy. This guy is. Uh, actually, another Steel Fist. Why not? I've gone through five of them. But seriously, this is not, not good. You, sir, are toxic. If I were, if you were in a fighting game, I would ban you so hard. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna try some of my techniques. Uh, that didn't work. Did not work. Didn't even hit him. Let's try this. Boom. Mm, did it work? Let's stall above him. Okay. One, two, three, four. Glaive. Glaive. That actually might that might work. Whoa, you I do not like this guy. I, it, it's getting to a point where I'm not even commentating. I'm just I'm just frustratingly fighting this guy. I'm not taking damage to him. I took some, but it's not No, 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 that's not cool. It's just get, getting to a point that he's so he's so overpowered. Like it's not even fun. It this battle is not even fun because he's moving at the speed of light. I can't move that fast, and he shouldn't be able to either. He's an old dog with one eye, and he has invincibility. It's not its not so much the speed of him as much as the, the fact that he's invincible all the time. And he just dealt, like, all of my health. Ugh. I don't want to use that. I don't want to use that. Um, let's use this. And I know I don't normally do this, but still soul because I I really don't want to burn up my vengeance slips. Okay, can you please just die? You're almost dead. You're almost dead. Oh yes, 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 yes. Uh curious. No, of course not. Okay, uh I'm really not liking you. You <sighs> No! S man! He is he is the worst. The worst. Like, it's... Uh, it's getting really annoying. I can't really describe... Like that! Like that! How? He's invincible 90% of the time. And the part where he's not invincible, he's moving across the stage in a blink of the eye. That isn't battle. It's cheap. It's really cheap. Look at that. I've, got, I've gotten probably a horrible ranking, and he's still alive. He's still alive with a sliver of health. Okay, you, as soon as you land, you are gone. You are dead to me. You're also dead. One, two. Power slash. You. Ugh. <sighs> Terrible ranking. Actually, it wasn't actually that bad. Okay. Whatever. Oh, we're, we're done. Oh, okay, good. I was really fearing that that, uh, that, uh, that would go f much longer. What te magnificent techniques you have. You are most worthy of my praise. Nah, we probably just got lucky this time. Anyway, it, was it just me, or did I see the other three join in too? Indeed you did, for even when apart, their hearts beat as one. In, honor of in their honor of need, their hour of need, the other canine warriors appear. So then, where were they during the Crimson Helm battle? Um, well, you, you see... In any event, it is now clear. The White Wolf and Little Bug shall forever be the standard for which the Kusa 5 aim. Thank you for your most excellent guidance. The Saitomi House shall continue keeping the peace. 48 praise. We're now able to upgrade something. Now, my friends, please accept this as a token of the Saitomi House's friendship. As long as you bear this, you shall have our eternal goodwill. You obtain Stray Bead. Okay, let's talk to him. I'm really interested. Our battle was a great experience for me. I shall now forge my mind and body in a bid to surfa surpass you. Hear that, Furball? This flea bag has got guts. It is my opinion that he already surpasses us. If he can be invincible all of the time... Well, I guess we can be invincible with vengeance subs. But if this guy can be this invincible, he, he deserves our honor. He should be partaking of this quest. 
Although, we're probably going to be getting more weapons to become even more powerful. Powerful, But that's beside the point. Uh, we are now able to upgrade one of our techni- our, not techniques, our, um, attributes. So, I would like to upgrade health. I- I've been feeling recently that we could use more ink. But, I kind of- I don't know. Um, it's- it's not a struggle, but it's- it's something that I'm- I am unsure of. Uh, but I think I should upgrade health. Um... Actually, you know what? Huh. I, I do like seeing more health bars. That That is... That's actually most of this decision. I like seeing more health bars because it makes me feel more powerful, even if I try never to take health, take damage. Um, but I would kind of like to use, um, get ink, honestly. Uh, yeah. Because even though we have the golden ink pot, we have techniques now that use, use up four to six ink pots, and... Frankly, the golden ink pot does does not like independently make us um, make us ink in infinity. It doesn't give us infinity. It's just I don't know. It's it's something that you know. If I use if I use one thunderbolt, then yeah, I've pretty much used up all of my ink, and I don't like that happening. So yeah, that's good. Only one more upgrade uh, will is necessary to max out our ink. Um, because 400 is the last upgrade, I believe. Pretty sure. I don't think it's 500 ever, but 400, I think, is the last upgrade. So we are we are one upgrade away from getting max ink, um, and we're a couple away from getting max health. So granted, you know, the health only has a few upgrades left because you have to consider that there are sun fragments left in the game. So there are possibly two upgrades to health left. Maybe. Maybe even one. No, I'm pretty sure it's two. Yeah, it's two. Um, so there are two upgrades to health left. One of one of ink and only a handful of others. So that's really neat. Okay, let's leave. Now, you may be wondering where we're going next. Um, honestly, uh, we're not... We're not really going... We're not going to be conquering any more quests this episode. This episode is drawing really far out on time. And, frankly, if it goes any longer, I fear like I will die. Uh, so, yeah, I would like to just... We're going to grab a couple things that that are now available to us in the adventure. No stray beads, no major collectibles. Can this please work? No no beads, no major collectibles. Uh, just, just some odds and ends that we've seen about the world, like this, this clover. Um, mostly just catwalk stuff. There's one other catwalk statue that I'm remembering. Um, and it's in Octa Forest. How much praise is this? 30, pr wow, 30 praise, okay, I will take it, uh, yeah, so there's one more thing in Octa Forest, but after that, I think we're done, um, I think after, after Octa Forest, we are ready to move on to the next major area of this game, which is, uh, which the entrance is located in Shinshu Field, surprisingly, so, yeah, let's go there, I'm not going to cut, just because, I don't know, episode's drawing too close, and I don't really like cutting a lot, uh, when I'm nearing the end of the of an episode, can, is this a thing that I can do? No. Yes. Yes. Wow. Okay, I missed a thing. So that was that was fortunate. I get I get another odd odd or end to sell of Voss. It's a Voss. And yeah, now we can move on to Aga odd Agata Forest. Mostly, I'm just taking this opportunity. Can we? Wait, we can. Okay. Uh. Uh. Should I do this? Should I really do this? Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm really curious. I'm sorry. I know that I'm drawing the episode's time out a lot, but I'm curious. Can we jump in the water? We can! Oh, wow! That opens up my mind. What is down here? Uh, no, 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 no. Upstream first. Upstream. Because I have a feeling downstream will, like, take us somewhere. So let's go up here. This is cool. I never really thought about this, but I'm trying it. I've never done... Oh, whoa! Guys, it paid off! I never knew the secret existed. What is up here? Can, is there... Okay, okay, I can't go here. Look at that! Look at this! I never knew the secret existed. That is nice. Okay. 50 praise! Okay. Uh, reward much. It paid off. Okay, what started out as just being like, I'm vaguely curious about this, but it became uh, a thing of, whoa, bro. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, I can't go any further this way. I thought maybe this would take me to, um, uh, uh, Taka Pass, but it doesn't. But man, 50 praise! 
worth it. So worth it. And, even more, is an iron rock. Now, I, I probably shouldn't have done that. Because I, I, I am planning on going th back through the world, um, maybe next episode or something. 40 praise, wow. Um, getting all the iron rocks that are available to us, but, you know, that's fine. Okay, um, lastly, I didn't actually come here for either of the, of the things that we just got. I came here to go over here. Because there's a catwalk statue that we saw a long time ago that I would like to finally take care of. There there may be one, I kind of doubt it, in um what is that place? I forgot the name I forgot the name of that dungeon, but in that dungeon there may be there may be one. But I'm more interested in the tower in here. Because I have a feeling it could contain something neat. Okay, let's jump up here. Oh, it contains a clover. I'm I'm really if I if I had a choice over Praise and money. I'd probably choose praise most of the time because it's it's better. You know, we're we're now almost able to upgrade one of our our attributes, and it's going to be probably ink because I, I think I like seeing ink more um, on my my hub bar than seeing health. So that's nice. Uh, yeah. So that honestly will be it for this episode. Man, the water tablet would have been useful when fighting Waka in here. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm going to walk all the way back to to Shinshu Field uh, the manual way, but I think we're done. Um, we've we've seen a little bit of almost every single area this episode. We haven't see, we didn't see North Ryushima Coast, but honestly, you know, we've we've seen it many times now. Uh, so yeah, we've seen almost every area just this episode. That is neat. Okay, that. Oh wait. Another thing that is a reward for exploring, right here. Um, how much praise will this give us? 30? 20. Okay. And this, which we've seen before, but I feel like I should point it out. Um, really? Actually, yeah, we've seen this before. Okay. I forgot. So yeah, I'm really just dragging this episode long, much too long, but, yeah, it, it's fine, honestly. So, yeah. Let's go to Shinshu Field, and I'll end it off there. Then I can finally have the awesome Thunder End Slate that I've been hoping f hoping to uh, to see. Oh, and... <laughs> I'm discovering everything! Wow! More praise! I am a fan. I am a definite fan. 20 praise. And... Uh, so much things, so many things. Is there anything out here? I just need to check, because I, could, I can walk on stinking water, guys. I have to check sometime. Um, no, no secrets. Wait, oh, guys, wow, wow! I cannot end this episode because I keep seeing all of these things. It's a secret. I mean, I could have gotten this without the water tablet, but look at this. On top of this, this gate, there's a golden peach that's garbage. Don't care. But there's probably th something on the other side. There's probably something on the other side. Let's check. No? No, there's not. Okay. So, <laughs> hopefully, that will be it for this episode. Man, that's deep and scary. Ugh. Gross. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really expecting us to see, like, 20 more clovers. That's why I keep running around. Thank you so much for watching. I really, um, If you liked this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me how I can make next episode so that you would like it. Uh, I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes, and next time in Okami, we're probably going to be getting all of the, um, the iron stones, if we have not gotten them all already. Um, as, as for the last two missing stray beads that you can, you can see in the, um, in the collectibles video, um, those I cannot get yet because of certain prerequisites that have to be filled that we don't have yet. Um, we're close, but they actually there is a good there is a a good deal of time that will pass before we're able to get those. So yeah, um, but next time we're going to be getting those rocks, and then we're going to be going there towards the source of that thunder and beyond. See you guys next time. Where'd be a good place for me to do the end slate?